Well, here we are. Lynchburg, Tennessee, hometown of Mr. Jack Daniels' original silver cornet band. Now, the time is 1905. Now, Lynchburg, in 1905, is just a quiet country town. Got no railroads, got no automobiles to speak of, and, of course, we've got no radios, TV, jukeboxes, nothing like that. No, no, it, it's, it's just quiet. And Lynchburg is a small town, too. Population, oh, about around 400. Do you know how you can tell when you are really in a small town? Just take a deep breath. No, that's right. You take on a warm summer evening like this when the air is soft and sweet and not going any place in particular. You can stand in one place and take a series of deep breaths. And if you are really in a small town now, your nose is going to paint the whole picture for you. That's a fact. Let me show you how it works right here in Lynchburg tonight. I'm just going to turn around. Oh, yeah. All right, there. Can you smell that? Henry Holt's been mowing his yard, I'll bet you. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> the smell of fresh cut grass in the warm summer evening. Isn't that sweet? I like that. Over here we got a... Oh, oh yeah, all right. Somebody's been baking a pie. Hmm, apple, I think. Hmm, one thing I really like is that smell of fresh baked apple pie. I... No, wait a minute. No, sir, Dad, no. You know, I don't believe that's apple at all. I think that's rhubarb. Mm -hmm. One thing I like even better than fresh baked apple pie, it's fresh baked rhubarb pie. Huh. Well, over here we got a, yes, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the livery stable, there's no mistake in that one. <laughs> and back over here we got, oh, see, now that's a good smell. You know what that is? That's the peanut roaster been moved down on the sidewalk in front of the drugstore, special for tonight's band concert. The, it, can you all see the drugstore from where you're sitting? It's that little little gray building there in the corner of the square. Well, it's kind of behind a tree. Can you see the electric light on in the window? Do you know that is the first electric light in Lynchburg? That's fact. Dr. Dance's Drugstore, 1905. Mm. Good smells. Good town. Nice people. Good warm summer evening. Just right for a band concert. Well, now, let me, uh, let me tell you something about our audience, because you folks now, you play a very important part in all this, whether you realize it or not. Now, our audience, our audience comes in by wagon and buggy, a good many of them, because these farmers, you know, you farmers have a ways to come, some of you. And our townsfolk, of course, they just walk over. Nothing's very far from anything else here in Lynchburg. And there's very few strangers in this town, too. The reason for that, of course, most everybody's kin to everybody else. Well, no, you take a town of 400 after six or seven generations, whether you want to admit it or not, you are related to just about everybody else in town. And the same thing goes for these fellows in the band now. These boys and you are all related. You're all cousins or brothers or husbands or in-laws or, well, at least over the back fence, neighbors. And these are amateurs, these boys. Yeah, they all hold jobs around the square here or they farm or whatever during the day. And then they bring out their horns and they just play in the evening for the fun of it, see. Yeah. Oh, that's Bob Mummert there. That's our drummer. Evening, Bob. Oh, I see. Good. Bob's a bachelor. Lives over at Mrs. Bobo's hotel and boarding house. And so having no home chores to do, why, he's usually the first one on the bandstand, like tonight. And, oh, there's David Strauss. Evening, David. Oh, I see. David plays banjo, as you can tell. He also makes a fine cigar. He rolls cigars down here on the square for a living. And, uh, well, thank you, David. That's very nice of you. When I mention that, he usually gives me one. I, <laughs> I believe I'll save that for after the concert. That's all with you, David. And here's Jack Holland here. Jack's our, Jack's our sheriff this year. Jack, have you made any uh, arrests here in Lynchburg this year? Yeah, well, you keep working at it. You'll be fine. And Jack is uh, probably the best glove maker there is in the whole world. At least here in Lynchburg, he is. Well, let's see, there's Alan Suska. He's our barber and our undertaker. And that big fella... That big fella there in the, in the derby hat, that's Mayor Lewis Brown. He's our mayor, and he's a good man to know. Evening, Mr. Mayor. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Well, you can see now, everybody is from right around Lynchburg here. Hey! See? Well, all except, <laughs> all except this fella. Now, that's Tim Lawhorn, and he plays tuba. And Tim used to live here in Lynchburg, but about a year ago, when his wife's daddy took sick, why, they moved down to Mulberry, which is about three miles down the creek just to help him farm the home place, you see. Tim has his hands full these days, but he's never missed a band concert. No. 
He may be the last one on the stand, like tonight, but we've never had to start without him. Speaking of starting, oh my Lord have mercy, yes. Would you all excuse me? I think I'd better get down to work here.